think um just quickly on the software bit as well it's the same on the software side of things too um you know th there are some organizations we mentioned just before we started about seeing what bad looks like and bad is just free for all right there's no control there's no governance people are ordering SaaS software on their credit cards they're just downloading whatever they can they're buying stuff expensing it back and it just gets lost in the shadow it and i think now again with the whole we, we've got through the initial bit of the pandemic. There's other stuff going on in the world. Budgets are tightening. Budgets are tightening. So when you're getting these expense claims back for SaaS stuff, when people are coming and saying, look, we really need this brand new 3D designer. It's two and a half thousand dollars per year per user. We want 10 of them. Um, you have to be a bit more realistic and uh, maybe phase it in more. We can buy two now, maybe two next year, et cetera. So I think it's going back and it's it's stripping back that, that's sexy and being more proactive with reusing what you've got. Yeah, and I'll take that next and step further for you, David, is if people keep pushing on that, the organization's going to say, okay, we'll go to BYOD and you can be responsible for bringing your own device. I mean, imagine. I, but I meant though, if you're the organization, that is one option. If people say, you know, because I've been organizations internally where people see their worth in the newness or quality of their laptop because they go to a meeting. Oh, I'm the new guy. I, mine's all beat to Dickens. And oh, look at those upper people. They always seem to have a nice new laptop. Yeah. In organizations, they go, okay, we'll treat everybody equal. You all get the same BYOD stipend. Oh, that, yeah, you've, yeah, again, you've hit on something that, that annoys me, right? The hierarchical, I get that you're a, a president, you're a director, you know, you've worked your, your, your butt off to get into that position. But why does that mean that I have to pay more money for you for an, IT, an iPhone 13 Pro Max or whatever it is? Right. It does the same thing as the ones that we're giving out to everyone else. Like, I mean, I, I get that you're that kind of seniority level and I get some organizations have that mentality. But for me, if you want that, go buy it personally. You've reached that level. You can afford it. We're just going to give you something that can meet your requirements to do your job right. Um, and again, it's it's a, it's a culture shift, but um, times are changing, man. Items evolving, right? You mentioned it before. <laughs> BYOD. I mean, it could happen. There's a, a lot of. Um, I've worked with some clients recently as well doing device leasing, mobile yeah. leasing, which again brings a completely different culture shift into the organization whereas before you know if they had an iphone and they got a sticker from a i don't know a cupcake shop round the round from the office and it was their phone they just stick the sticker on it and off they go now it's not the company's device it's not your device we're leasing it you can't put anything on there like that you know you can't put you know stuff on it use it for personal use install the latest version of Fortnite or call of i'm showing my age here oh my god yes, the latest sure. computer game or whatever you know, it, it's it's a whole new culture. And again, we as ITAM professionals need to keep up to date with that, adapt, evolve, um, so that we can continue to support our, our customers and our organizations.